Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. I'm here to share my December daily. So welcome to my channel. Yesterday was the first day where I um, talked about how I was going to start. And I just kind of uh, last night put this cover together and was playing catch up. So I'm not going to go over the cover again or anything that repeat anything I said last night. I'm just here tonight to share day one through four with you since today is the fourth day. So let's just go get started without delay. Uh, as I said last night, I'm not sewing in my pages until the end of December. So here's day number one. Uh, this is uh, the card from Maria. Recipe card. I wrote a little bit uh, down here on the card. Glued it down. Wrote on it about, you know, day number one. And then added this. It's a foam a candy cane sticker. This guy is a nutcracker soldier. And he's on a... Uh, little clothespin. I had gotten some of those last year, last year at Christmas from Dollar General, I think it was. And so I have some left, so I put one right there. I want to use up a lot of these foam stickers. I got those last year too. So, well, this one I got this year at Dollar Tree. These foam stickers I got this year. And uh, uh, this bell is from 2000, my 2006 uh, scrapbook kit and so just kind of trying to use up some of this stuff uh, these I had gotten this year at Dollar Tree and so I put these are tags I got from Maria and they're punched out of pretty wallpaper and I thought these two colors looked really pretty in here and they're kind of you know they were the most Christmassy colored ones so I decided to use those right there and they're glued down so this right here is uh, washi from the flap up Maria's envelope from the back, you know, the back flap. So I took it, I took the uh, flap off. I think the paper actually came off too. And then I uh, put the washi right here. And it was two, like two strips of washi, but it was a little bit, the screen was, green one was wider. And I didn't want to cover up any of this, this recipe card because this is so pretty, this recipe card. But I did want to put the washi on here because it was from Maria and this was from Maria. So uh, I cut cut the washi to fit and then I put the cutoff part over here on day number three. Okay, so we'll get into that in a second, but just to finish this page, I did add a little, I, I glued down the pockets on both sides of this page and put a little uh, like label, it says a Merry Christmas to you right here on the pocket to decorate. Okay, so that's basically day number one. Day number two, this was the envelope from Maria. And I decided to just to use this envelope because I wrote on it about day number two. And then I didn't want to, you know, I, I'm i just doing this the way I want it. You know, I think you should be able to do your De December daily the way you want it. I don't know if there's rules out there or what. This is my first one. So <laughs> I'm just doing whatever I want. You know what I mean? Having fun. So, uh, so this was the back of Maria's envelope. I put green... Uh, Kind of a four by six index card on the back this is glitter pen so yeah i got these glitter pens last year at dollar tree i don't i don't remember seeing them this year but they work really really good i mean there's a red one a silver one and a gold one i used the gold on here and it is really pretty and sparkly uh, in person i don't know if you can see it on the camera and then this is the red which is also uh, it's not as sparkly as the gold but it's still pretty so I wrote about what we did on Monday night when my son came over for dinner and all of that what was happening on Monday night all the fun we had so uh, and that's all of Maria's pretty washy there so it's a nice thick cardstock now and so that day number two is going right in this pocket right here <laughs> so day number three is the card the handmade card from Aaliyah and so like I said I have this strip here that was from Maria I added one of my 2006 stick stickers right here that says Seasons Greetings. I've got uh, a strip of cutoff from this, you know, paper that I'm using in here. Right under here to decorate this music page. Uh, foam Gingerbread Man. The Christmas tree that I showed you last night that it was cut out from the pocket right here. This is right here to decorate. And then Mar Aaliyah's card. And then on the inside I wrote you know about Aaliyah and then I wrote 
put right here um, the stamp from the front of Aaliyah's card with some fabric behind it, and I thought that was really cute to uh, keep those two things together since they were from Aaliyah. So that's day number one, two, three, caught up, right, as of yesterday. So I went ahead and did, did day number four. So today was day number four. So December daily, you know, I don't have exciting things happening happening in my life every day and uh, I kind of like it that way you know just normal life so uh, day number four nothing really happened today I went to work and I came home you know just a normal December day like any other day of the year uh, so I have this from that 2005 scrapbook kit I have these little pieces that you were supposed to use when you scrap when you're scrapbooking to decorate your scrapbook, you know, your scrapbook page and how you do layouts and everything and decorate around your pictures and whatever. If you scrapbook, you know, if you've ever scrapbooked, you know how that is. So um, I haven't used these in any of my journals that I'm using, making, you know, and creating for my Etsy. So I, but I, I have them out here. Like I need to use these. I have them sitting on my table because I need to use them, but I just didn't find them. Uh, like appropriate for my journals for some reason. I don't know why I just they're not the kind of the style that I use in my journals But this is my journal so I can do whatever I want in here, right? So <laughs> I Decorated day number four because I didn't really have anything to write about now if I come up with something later That I remember like oh, yeah, this happened. I forgot to write about that I can write on the snowman. I can write around the snowman You know, I can clip something on do a flip out whatever, you know, play it by ear. I did put the date right there with some red glitter pen, but this was in that little kit and it was, uh, I had to piece this together. So like the eyes and the little carrot nose was separate pieces in a little pack that came in that scrapbook kit. The snowflakes were in there. The hat was separate. So I had to put all this together and glue it down. Uh, this little present had separate pieces. It was like a little present with a little holly leaf and a little holly berry. Those were three separate pieces that I put together. And then this was a, a music uh, page cut off. I just put that here with a little uh, to from Christmas label on top of it to decorate. So, uh, and then I had, I was like, I got all done with that. And I said, you know, he needs something. And there were some other little, there was one more little black circle like this, but it was smaller, so it wasn't enough to make buttons. And I thought, well, I could make some buttons, I could draw some buttons, but he needed something. So I made him a little scarf out of the, just a piece of fabric that I kind of shaped into a scarf shape <laughs> that's blowing in the wind. So, you know, uh, just uh, maybe an idea. Like, if you don't have anything to write about, just have some fun decorating a page, you know. Don't worry about, you know, journal, you know, if you want a journal prompt, I did um, link a list of journal prompts that uh, Barbara from 49 Dragonfly shared on her video. I linked that below my video that I posted this morning. And I can link it below this one, too, and I actually printed it out. And I was going to show it to you, but I left it at work. So I printed it out at work and left it at work. So <laughs> I don't have it with me. But anyway, um, you know, you can use a list of journaling prompts. You can, you know, if you did have something happen that you want to write about, you can write about it. Or you can, you know, if you just have some things that you want to use up or just have some fun experimenting in your own journal. This is yours, so you can do whatever you want. And say like this is not sewn in okay i already decorated the other side so i wouldn't want to you know mess this side up or anything but i want to deck i want to do a little experimenting in here with some more of these little christmas trees i wanted to see what kind of fun i can have with these little triangles and making christmas trees <laughs> so that's i'm going to do that uh that soon i'm going to do some triangles and see what i can have fun I can have with Christmas trees and another thing I'm planning on doing is uh, maybe I'll do this tomorrow tomorrow's uh, December 5th uh, I don't think anything exciting is happening in my life besides going to work tomorrow so uh, I might do this tomorrow on camera for you I want to 
take this little card I mentioned last time, I want to do something special with it. And so, like, I've done a lot of embroidery, but not for a long time. And so, like, I've done, what I want to do here on this little Christmas tree is I want to see if I have any red, I don't know if I even have any red embroidery floss. <clears throat> but if I do, I would like to make some little French knots on this Christmas tree. And then I want to do a little bit of just straight stitching with by hand. Well, I guess I could sew it on the sewing machine, though. Actually, I might do, if I sew around here, I might do a little sewing on my sewing machine around here. Do the French knot. And I might do a little something somewhere else. Like I could outline the snow line here. I could outline the house. I'm just going to kind of see what I can do. I could do white and do the little snow. It's got snow here in the background. I could do those in French knots if I don't have any red floss to do the uh, French knots on the Christmas tree. I could even sew, there's like a little garland here. I could sew that, you know, with something. So anyway, uh, I'm just going to have a little fun with some hand stitching on here. And then I'm going to use this in my journal because I, uh, that's going to, I, it'll be fun to see how long it takes to like is this gonna take me an hour to make French knots on here or is it gonna take a few minutes you know I kind of just want to experiment too to see how long does something like that to take I've never I've done some whip stitching and that didn't take too long but just whip stitching around but uh, I haven't done any actually like French knots or any embroidery uh, type stitches on anything lately so I just want to experiment with that, experiment with the Christmas trees, and then just uh, kind of see what else, you know, I can grab from my stash, Christmas stash here, and see what else, you know, I can put in here. Uh, the next exciting thing that's happening that's Christmassy is our Christmas office lunch is next week on Wednesday, so pretty boring stuff until then, so <laughs> we're going to be doing a lot of decorating, I think. Unless I uh, think of something to write about, and my kids might come over on Monday night, so that'll be exciting, right? <laughs> so anyway, uh, I will see you all next time. I hope you enjoyed what I've done so far, and uh, I will see you all next time. Happy crafting!